Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we had a great question on one of our gallery videos for Divi. Somebody was asking how to turn the portrait gallery images, this top row here, into actual squares. Now there's no inbuilt feature to do this with Divi, but it's really easy to do with a bit of CSS. If you look down below, here's the results. And what we've done, we've done a bit of coding and it's sort of focused in on the middle square of these images here. So let's get started. Don't let the coding put you off. Any code I write, I'll put down below the video and you're welcome to use it and manipulate it how you will. First thing I want to do is inspect this element and see what these images have for a class name. I'm using the great Google Chrome here. Most browsers have this inspector now but if yours doesn't chrome is a free download so i'm just going to inspect one of the images i want to get the class name there it is that's what i want right there etpb gallery image so i'm going to copy that i've just double left clicked on it and i'm going to select class name if it's got underscores in that's all one class name there where there's a gap that means that's another class name so i want this particular one right there i'm going to copy that I'm just going to put it in a blank notepad notepad for the time being just so I've got it and I'm going to create my own class as well now to do this today we're going to be using the code block in the theme options to get there just go down to your dashboard go down to Divi theme options it's the top one there we're on the general tab and we're going to put this code in the code box at the bottom here you can also do this in the theme customizer custom CSS if you want to okay well let's create our own class I'm going to call mine perhaps G square for gallery square call yours what you like it wants to be unique and it wants to make sense to you so it's a class name so it has a dot or a period in front G square then we need to open and close some curly brackets and inside we want to add the code first thing we want to do is give it 100% padding on the top so we can say padding dash top colon 100% now we want this to affect not only our new class that we've built here but the one the gallery image class that I put here so I'm going to add this after the class that we actually made there. So I'm going to do a gap. And again, this is another class name, so it's got to have a dot in front of it. And then the class name itself. So that's going to affect both the G square class and the ETPB gallery image class. Okay, well now that I've got this, I want to actually affect the image that's inside of it. Because if we look here, when I selected this, there's the class and what we actually want to affect is the image within the class there's the image img so let's do that i'm going to drop down what i'm going to do is i'll copy these two class names and remember this code's down below so if you don't want to watch it in real time just copy it from below paste it in it'll work for you then after the image right there we want to do their short code for the actual image, which is IMG. So we're now affecting the div and our custom class and the image within that div. Now we want to open and close some more curly brackets. And inside, we can write our code to make these things square. For the first thing, we want to make it absolute position. Then we want to give it a height. So we'll say height. We want it to fill the whole of the, the area that we're giving it. So we'll say 100%. Now, where does it want to be? It wants to be right on the bottom of our container. So we'll say bottom, zero. And we want it to actually cover the whole of this container. So we're going to say object fit, dash fit, cover. Okay, I think that should probably do it. That's going to make it fixed where it is. That's going to give it the height we need. That's going to put it where we want it. 
and that's going to stretch it so it covers the whole of our square there. So let's save our changes and remember our class there of G square. Save our changes. Now let's go back to our gallery, close up the inspector, and I'll enable the visual builder. And here's our regular gallery module with the portrait type images, and this will work for landscape also. Let's just go in there. We need to go to advanced CSS ID and classes, and we just need to give it that class that we made, which was G square. And as you can see, it's automatically made them square for us. We'll save our changes. And exit the Visual Builder. And that particular gallery item has now got the square images. And when you click on one of them, it's going to pop out into the full size image still. So there you go, guys. That's how to create a gallery with square images or square thumbnails. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. I hope that's answered your question too. If you have enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.